Today I want to talk to you about using DDS middleware with Simulink. DDS block set was introduced in uh, release uh, 2021A. It is part of the Simulink product family. And yes, you can see, uh, you can access the more information about this product from our main uh, page in mathworks.com. What is DDS? DDS is a middleware that was introduced by Object Management Group. It uses a service-oriented architecture and uses a public subscribe communication mechanism. This is a very flexible uh, communication system that has been widely adapted in many of the uh, applications ranging from aerospace, defense, automotive, robotics, etc. DDS uses a layered architecture. Uh, it runs on many operating systems ranging from Windows, Linux, and Mac, also to many of the embedded systems. It is built on a, a layer of uh, layer of protocol presentation layer and some C++ APIs. Um, the application generated from the Simlink model uses this third-party libraries that, in, that implement the DDS protocol. And you can actually generate the code directly from um, Simlink using the DDS block set. There are many vendors um, uh, providing the DDS interface. Um, the, uh, the DDS libraries, uh, notably the two ones, uh, RTI and ePROSIMA, are the two platforms that uh, are supported out of the box uh, in DDS block set. DDS provides, uh, the DDS block set provides apps and blocks uh, that you can use to simulate uh, the application and then finally generate the code. It uses a, a dictionary, a Simlink a dictionary built on top of the Simlink dictionary called the DDS dictionary that helps you manage all the DDS definitions. You can import and export many of the uh, definitions, and all, of course, you with the uh, embedded coder, you can uh, pr uh, you can emit the C++ code. It fully integrates with all the uh, APIs uh, provided by RTI Connect and ePROSIMA. Now let's talk about uh, DDS block set features. Um, before I talk about it, it's here's a typical workflow that uh, one would use. Um, you would have some uh, definitions that you would have um, in XML, mainly in OMG's format, or uh, any of the uh, any uh, any of the formats uh, created through uh, third-party vendors like RTI, System Designer, etc. You would import those definitions into the Simlink uh, dictionary. And then we also have a, a UI that uh, shows you the definitions that you have imported. Once you have imported, you can then use it in your application as an uh, imported data types uh, on the inputs and outputs. And then you can map onto what the topics you are using. And then finally, once you're happy with the, uh, uh, with the design, you can generate code using embedded coder and along with it will also provide uh, create the ideal uh, the XML file required for the third party vendors. Couple of uh, key features there is a, a quick start uh, application uh, accessible from the Simlink tool strip and you can use that to get your model quickly set up. There is also a readily available uh, take and write uh, DDS blocks that will enable you to create, convert the messages coming in into signals and vice versa. You can also simulate all the, uh, the, uh, the QoS, a couple of QoS policies, mainly the history, uh, using the built-in um, uh, Q blocks. Furthermore, there is the uh, app uh, DDS um, UI which can uh, enable you to, which enables you to view all the definitions that you have produced. The C++ code will be generated and it includes all the um, creation of the participants, readers, and writers. As I said before, we, uh, the, the DDS block set supports two vendors uh, out of the box, RTI, Connect 6.0, and ePROSIMA. i you through a system uh, example that is built using DDS. To get started, let's go to MATLAB. One can do a health DDS, and that will actually bring you all the uh, useful links uh, for you. Here, if you click the view examples, it is going to bring you the uh, example browser. I'm going to walk you through the DDS positioning system, which I've already opened up here. So let's go ahead and open the um, uh, position estimator model. 
And this position estimator model is uh, a typical application where it is subscribing to two top, gets two pieces of data, calculates uh, some information, and then publishes the calculated information on a third uh, topic. So to get started, uh, one would uh, use uh, the DDS application. Here I have it in my favorites. Um, but you could find this DDS application in the code generation tab, um, code generation tab in the Simlink um, tool strip. So let's go ahead and start that. And then uh, if this is the first time the quick start will come, uh, since the model has already been set up, uh, you can bring up the quick start. And here, uh, for, to get started, you would first set the name of the application. Here I'm using the position estimator. You can use one of the two uh, th uh, third-party vendors that have been supported out of the box, ePROSIMA or RTI Connects. Next, you would either use uh, an existing dictionary or uh, import an XML where you have system definitions, or you can use a default dictionary that uh, the product just provides out of the box. Since I already have a dictionary, I'm going to use that dictionary. And then once I click Finish, the model is now set up for DDS. If you're wondering uh, what did the what are the definitions that got imported, you can use the DDS dictionary view. In the DDS dictionary view, you have the types, uh, which are all the uh, axonometer and position type. Apart from it, you can also have the domains, um, which actually has all the different topics, the axonometer, the GPS, the estimated position, and uh, the QoS definitions. Some uh, built-in QoS definitions which can be used for any event-driven, real-time event or a streaming event. And you can also use the types to actually add or edit uh, any of these definitions so as with the domains and QoS. Apart from the types, we also have constant and enums that you can use. Uh, all kinds of manipulations are available, copy, delete, and duplications. Okay, you have your types definition. Next, you would associate the types uh, to any of the inputs, and then uh, you would also configure the topics. To use the topics, here I have the inputs. Um, uh, the axonometer is reading the axonometer topic, and the GPS reader is using the GPS topic. And similarly, in the outputs, you have the estimated position. Once you are done, uh, you can now uh, build and um, and then you can view the code where it actually has all the um, definitions for your RTI um, APIs being already generated for you. Now, if you have once you have generated the code, you can actually deploy uh, uh, the application. Here I have already built. You can run this, and now it will once it comes up, it will all uh, connect to your. Uh, DDS system. You can also create a system model and use the capabilities of the DDS block set to simulate and see the behavior of your algorithm and fine-tune your QoS settings. For that, you would go ahead and create a positioning system uh, model. Uh, here is the same uh, position estimator that you saw earlier. And you would have an axonometer or some stand-in that is actually taking your axonometer data and then uh, sending it as a message. And you have a GPS, which is also from for here in this example, it is using a, a, a already pre-recorded data. And you would use this simulation and see. Now, this accelerometer is publishing at a higher speed, which is uh, very typical of uh, accelerometers, and GPS are typically uh, slower but more accurate. And you can use the GPS data to correct any um, accumulating errors in your accelerometer. So when you simulate the model, let's go ahead and simulate the model, you will see a smooth estimation of the data that you have, and you have a very smooth um, the curve that you have. Uh, let me just zoom in uh, in time. You can see the zoom in uh, of you. It's a very smooth data. Now you are wondering, okay, uh, this is uh, to accommodate the faster rate. So we are going to keep a queue so that when the actual uh, position estimator comes, it is actually using some 10 samples so that it will pull out. 
Now I'm going to go and show you what happens to go into the extreme. Um, let me just come in through the uh, queue and let's simulate what happens. And you will see there will be a lot of breakages of uh, the estimation will not be a smooth curve. Um, let's zoom in time. Uh, and you would see it is all like all broken in there. So this way you can fine tune uh, how much is your uh, Q depth that you need. And this is a very powerful way of uh, fine tuning your QoS using the uh, DDS block set features and the core simulant features to estimate your Q. So, <clears throat> so what I have shown you is um, creating an, a, a simple estimator example as uh, estimator model and then building, uh, configuring it, building and deploying it, and also using a system model to create and simulate your entire system. So what you can do to get more information, you can go through the other example, which is a getting started example. Um, and of course, I showed you the positioning system. And you can also visit our product page to get more information on the DDS block set. Thank you so much for taking your time to get more information on DDS Blockset.